Hey guys, I'm going to do a little vlogging today. So, then I'm going to cut the grass. But I got to let the grass dry up a little bit. I want to get this cut before the storm hits. So it's supposed to be going right over top of us. Almost put that on backwards. Upside down rather. But uh, Monkey's not worried about it. She said no biggie. survived Irma, the worst one in history. I think we can make this one. If it does go right over top of us, it'll only be a cat one. So, we'll go from there. But, if it gets bad, I'll live stream it for you guys. Trying to stay cool. Yeah. You ready for the storm? Yeah. My electric's out, so I've been out. Really? $140. Uh, I had some fucking chick move in. She had the electric washer dryer, 120. I mean, like, you know, it never stopped. Wow. She had people constant. I got rid of her in one month, but she, that cost me 640 bucks. Man, sorry to hear that. So then I got a late fee, late fee, and then shut off fee and reconnection fee. Yeah. And they want another $155 deposit. Right. Okay. And then I got to buy a lot of and shit to bed. Did it? My truck did, and I mean, I can't get anyone. My phone got stolen. From one of her friends. I mean, I'm fucked all the way around. Wow. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah. Uh, crazy neighbor guy. His electric's been off for a week. Huh. That sucks. I feel sorry for him sometimes, but, you know. It happens. Let's get this deck put on here. Installed. Just kidding. Let me get it hooked up.
Okay, so I was mowing over here. I noticed something. Monkey's allergic to bee sting. But when I was mowing, I had to stop. Now, I can't get too close, but I'll show you this. You guys see them? There's a ground hornet's nest right there. Look at them coming out. That thing, whoops. The thing is huge. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. Woo! What didn't you guys tell me they were coming? Things were buzzing right up my ear. But look at them things though. I'm shaking. Sam, so I'm trying to make the yard a little bigger. So every year, I go a little bit farther. Like, when I first moved in here, you wouldn't have been able to fit this cage here. It just kind of went straight back through here. I started mowing out. And it kind of went straight across, like right on the right side of those that lumber there. And... So I, I've cut all this back for her because when you would mow, like you come down through here, like this, there's there's a dip right here. So there's like like a hole. I don't know. They might have had a pool there at one time or something. So see, there's a dip that comes down, and you would just mow straight across through here. So I'm going going by a little bit farther going back a little bit farther every time Bruno wanted to come out with me so so the yard's done I appreciate your guys' help thanks at least I didn't have to do it by myself right okay what do you want Bruno all right let's get on to something else maybe my battery will come in today but well let's go check come on Bruno There you go. All right, so he went flying in the house. So let's go check and see if the mail came yet. It's like when they said, when she moved in, they said that she owned over to this pole, which sounds about right, and straight back. So, I don't know if that tree, I think that tree right there is on them. And if you look at it, it's falling apart. So if it's on them, I hope they have homeowner's insurance if this wind takes that tree down onto the house. But, like, they mowed yesterday, and I usually mow just right on to this side of it, kind of help them out a little bit. Now they're starting to... They're not even mowing this no more. It used to be like a yard through here. It was really pretty. But let's go check the mail. See if, I think it's a little early for the mail, but sometimes they come early, but no, no mail. So it just seems weird seeing Jerry's truck sit there this time of day on a Thursday. I mean, usually he leaves at the ass crack of dawn and then uh, sometimes on Friday he'd come home early but usually he'd come home he'd pull in about 4 or 4.30 between 4 and 5 o'clock. Well, that truck sat there since since uh, since he pulled in 
405 last Monday. It's just weird. Just weird seeing that thing sit there, you know? So, oh, I seen a snake when I was mowing over there. So that's when I brought you guys along with me in case we've seen another one. I think he was laying there sunning himself. It wasn't very big, but it was a, a black snake or a rat snake, whatever. So, the roof looks like it could use the leaves blown off of it again. They're not as bad as last time. But I think I'm going to wait till the storm's over because I'm sure we'll get a lot. Now, I need to get up in that tree way up there somehow. And I need to trim that limb. I need to get that limb trimmed off. I'll just cut, cut it off right there, right there at that V. And I need to trim this limb. I don't know if I can take this whole limb off right there or not. If that'll hurt the tree, I'll have to. I'll have to check that out and see. But I definitely see. I'm thinking about trimming it right there, trimming that piece off. Cause she wants them off of there. I'm at least yeah, going to go up to that. I don't know how I'm going to get up there yet, but. I guess monkey thinks I'm a squirrel and I can just climb it. He says, you got a saw, just get up there. Whoops. She says, you got a saw, just get up there and uh, get a ladder and cut them off. <laughs> yeah. I don't have my climbing. If I had climbing gear like I used to have in the day, I wouldn't be scared to go up there. It would just take me a hell of a lot longer than it used to. Whew. But uh, I could do it. So, but yeah, that tree right there, that's the one that's got me a little concerned because it keeps dropping limbs off. I don't think it would go this way because the wind always is, is always heading that way, away from the house. And you can tell that by the way that palm tree is bending there. And that's where the wind's coming like to my back right now so it's going that way but um it might just be that one limb but still that whole that whole tree needs taken out so i'm guessing both of them should come down but you know i mean why should i pay for it? it's on their property you know i mean i shouldn't even really have to pay half but i i would go halves with them on it just to keep it off of our house you know but uh and we got that big ass pine tree. Oh, shit. I took my drone up to the top of that pine tree one day. And uh, it's like 90 feet, 95 feet or something is what I'm estimating from what the drone said. The drone said I was 98 feet. So I'm guessing, and I'm, I may have been a little higher than the tree because I was beside it. So it's pretty close to 100 foot tall, that pine tree there. This one here, I never did check it where the sun's at. That one, right there, can you see that? That one's about the same height, but they're in good shape. I don't have to worry about them. I mean, I love the trees we got. As you can see, we got plenty of shade out here. Uh, we get a lot of sun here. So she has trouble with her flowers, like right here. Those are actually flowers, they're not weeds. And I know this from the first time I mowed. I thought I was doing her a favor. I said, hmm, I'll just trim right up next to that tree. Uh, well, these are apparently flowers. <laughs> they just don't bloom. Well, there's some blooms here. There's a bloom. There's a bloom. But there's a couple different kinds here. But we're thinking that they're just not getting enough sun. She's got them in there. She's got the top of this bird bath in the house doing a project. So that thing's cool. I think we gave 20 bucks for it. It's solar, but it doesn't get enough sun to light it up. It used to, but it doesn't now. But we had it sitting over here where it could get more sun. See the sun, it's only like 1030 right now. So the sun's there, so it'll go 
and it'll come out there and when it when it's over there it used to it used to get sun because I had the thing out here the solar panel which I don't know what she has done with the solar panel oh there it is and she's got a point that way but it's covered up she said well I don't like to see that solar panel there well then it ain't gonna light up because the batteries ain't gonna charge so anyway let's see what else we can get into my battery out for delivery yay okay guys check this out see that nothing edited um, what was it, 16 hours ago, she replied this, okay, on this video, another free item, okay, Monkey did a damn good, awesome, free, Monkey did damn good, awesome freebie, now when I, when I go to that, here it is, right here, another free item, I got that, that, this one she just sent to see if she could send it again because I messaged her and told her that it had disappeared. And look, it's gone. It is gone. I did not remove it. It's gone. Where the hell did it go? But yet, there it is right there. Right along with the other one. See? Nice find from Captain Eggbeard. But nothing edited. It's gone. Like I said, this one she just sent because I told her. And she said that she would try it again on that. Now she tried another one that I got um, a uh, notification on my phone on. But I can't find it here anywhere. Now let's go to my comments. See, that's the one she just sent. And this is my reply. thought I better reply now before it goes away and it's gone see there's nice find from Captain Eggbeard Pete and these are all from last night so where the hell is it going that's bullshit you know everybody says comments don't matter yeah it does because that goes along with your you know your correspondence with your audience and um, you know your community and that's bullshit that is total bullshit. So anyway, let's find something else to do. Monkey's making a video right now while she's at work. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, yeah, she she just messaged me and said there's a house she's going to do. Spoiler alert. But anyway, um, so keep an eye out for it. Uh, I don't want to give away the secret to it. Well, it's not a secret, but. You know, I don't want to ruin her, spoil her video, but anyway, she just messaged me and said she's going to do her video. And she asked me last night, she says, you got a camera I can use? I believe so. <laughs> yeah. So she's doing it right now. So she had a couple minutes to kill before patience. So so that'll be cool. So anyway, let's, let's try to find something to do. Hopefully my battery will come in. It's here. Yay. Let's put it in. All right. Before we can put this in here, we got to take the old one out. I've got to put this. I've got to hook this fuse up. Don't lose these things. I know I always say that, but don't do it. I know because I've done it, I've had, not on this, but I've had um, vice grips holding battery cables on. And, all right, let's get this out of here. And then we've got to compare them. This is from when it was sitting outside. Now, before I sell it, I still got to fix the front brakes. Those parts did not come in. They said they had an issue with the credit card. So, there's a screw. So, I don't know what was going on there. I've got one here that I think may work. I'll just have to put it in and see. That's how the Toyota it fits. But, anyway. So, we got that out of the way. Now... 
let's open this up and compare whoop. let's open this up and compare them all right hopefully you can see that Ooh, easy big fella now man it took me all day to get this thing we got our mail by noon because monkey got a birthday card and I so I called him I said hey it says it's in trance it says it was scanned to go out it's out for delivery what's going on well I'll, I'll call her and I'll find out and I'll get back with you she took my number she never called back I called back again finally she goes oh yeah yeah okay I forgot to tell you she's gonna drop it off and blah 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 okay so there's a new one these are gel filled you don't have to put acid in acid in them they got that gel so Let's compare the two. Negative, negative, positive, positive, and look. So, had I have lost those, I got extra ones here. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Let's get this off of there. Looks good. Alright, let's set it down in and hook her up. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do, hopefully you can see this. I was stupid and didn't turn the screen around. Maybe I should do that, huh? There we go. Now at least you're upside down, but I can see something. So these, damn it. That goes in there. This one goes in here. Then we put this down in here like that. All right, now let me stick this on. What the hell? Oh no. Okay, now line this up there. Put this on here. This in here. So yeah, you heard me mention Monkey's birthday card. Well, if you guys could jump over to her channel and wish her a happy birthday, please, because her birthday is Saturday. And it's supposed to be nasty. She wants to clean the garage out on her birthday. She's a worker, guys, I'm telling you. She ain't afraid to work. So please, if you would, that would mean a lot to me and her as well. Now, don't tighten them super tight, guys. I know I always say that, but don't do it. Now, this is not, I don't think it would be able to go on there because I had to put that, that fitting on there, but that's okay. Or not fitting I had to put that ring terminal on there there we go. come on I may have to put something underneath that nut to get it to catch because they only make them you know they can only be so long so, <clears throat> and I don't think I can hook that up with the battery still in it. But yeah, if you would, just uh, give her a little shout out. Maybe on your channel, give her channel a shout out, Monkey1000. I'm not going to tell you how old she is. She'd get mad, and besides, I don't remember. No, I'm just kidding. I know how old she is, but I'm not going to tell you. There we go. We got her started now. All right. 
I'm gonna scoot this over here. Be careful of that that looks like it's breaking so I gotta be careful with that so this thing should be fully charged or it's supposed to be anyway we'll find out here in a minute and we'll get that on there like that this one's not going to fit but that's okay because the cover's plastic that goes on here. So let's hook these up and we'll give it a shot. So yeah, that hurricane, they're predicting it, it turned and it may come right over top of us clear into the Gulf Coast. And we're not far from the Gulf Coast. So if it comes over top of us, it's going to be a category one, which ain't too bad. But it's still 115 or 85 to 115 mile an hour winds. So, you know, I'm sure we'll get some kind of nasty weather. But either way, I'll be live streaming it. So we'll stick that down in there. Fuse is good. I already checked it. Alright. So now. Fuel gauge is working. Turn signal is working. Alright. Now let's see. Alright. Cool. Now let's see if we can get it to start guys. Awesome, huh? I gotta get the horn fixed. It's not working that great. Alright, we got a half tank of gas. Alright, guys. I'm gonna call the vlog right there. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thanks for helping me mow. And, uh, you know, remember, wish Monkey happy birthday. I appreciate it. She would too. Uh, so, I'll keep you updated on the storm. And you all have a good one. And uh, remember, tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, I will have my live question and answer uh, stream going on. So, you know... Join me in that if you can. I'd like to hear some of your questions. But keep it on the lighter side. Alright, let's have a good time. Let's have fun. So, I'm going to go for a ride. And I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.